Nike train cars and the Nike employee store in Memphis were targeted by thieves. Nike sneakers, they went down today and people all over the world are nursing hangovers from the anti-climax. Pivot Sports have decided to start shipping shoes via DoorDash. We've got some new looks at some upcoming Kobe's. We've also had an exclusive look at this year's holiday season Air Jordan lineup. All of these stories and more in today's sneaker wrap. First up, Nike Sneakers Day. So much build up, so much anticipation, so much misinformation. And now that it's been and gone, so many lessons learned. Do not buy into the build up. The anti-climax is real. To be fair, there were one or two kind of cool pairs that released throughout the day. I liked the navy blue heritage, old school, vintage type dunks that came out. I managed to pick up a pair of those. And to be honest, after that, I just turned the app off. I wasn't really interested in anything else that dropped although I do know that the red cement Jordan 4s also dropped but it did serve as a good platform for Nike to launch what looks to be their next kind of flagship model or the model that they're going to be looking to push to all of us that being the footscape woven how did you guys go on sneakers day did you guys cop anything are you feeling the experience did you enjoy the lives let me know and actually you don't need to let me know I don't mind these dropped today these are the 650 stuntmans it's kind of an interesting concept because Joe said that he took inspiration for the shoe from a picture featuring MJ going up for a dunk that he reckons inspired the original Jumpman logo although the Jumpman logo we're all familiar with has MJ wearing a pair of Jordan 1s I think they're the black toes and this kind of feels like a GR shoe that has been made into a collab cashing in on the currency of the over rinsed at this point Air Jordan 1 silhouette and trading off the capital of the early Michael Jordan days I'm not gonna lie the materials do look really nice it's a nice looking leather nice looking suede but there's something I don't know kind of goofy to me in taking the brand identity of another brand and trying to transpose elements of it onto your own sneaker in terms of the shoe itself they are pretty plain Jane I think if these weren't limited to 500 pairs they almost certainly wouldn't sell out nonetheless what do you guys think Nike's problem with organized crime continues with $200,000 of goods being stolen from the Memphis employee store. The goods in question were stored inside a trailer around the back of a Nike employee store. One of the security guards on site saw some men breaking into the trailer, notified police, but by the time the police had arrived, the thieves had made off with around 200K worth of merchandise. In the footage seen here, you can see boxes strewn across the parking lots. And some people have been crying foul, suggesting that maybe Maybe this was an inside job but police do say that one of the locks was forcibly cut indicating that the thieves were not let in now this highlights a broader issue that Nike has and if you guys wanted to check out a video that I made covering Nike's problem with organized crime I will link the video above for you guys to check out suffice to say this robbery as well as other robberies that have been happening in recent times are now coming about with a lot more regularity prompting onlookers and critics to wonder whether or not Nike have considered investing in a little bit more security the problems aren't just limited to these types of thefts it's also on-site retail thefts that are increasing and with lack of security and lack of impetus from security to get involved when they see these crimes play out in real time it doesn't look like any of this stuff is going to slow down let me know what you guys think about this Hibbert Sports decided to ship out a pair of the Palomino Jordan ones via DoorDash Now we don't have DoorDash here in the UK we have Deliveroo but I can't imagine ordering a pair of sneakers and then having it delivered to me alongside my my burger order I mean people are already nervous enough when it comes to UPS and DHL given the long storied histories that these companies have with stealing sneakers and so it's of little wonder that the customer that was supposed to be in receipt of these Palominos complained when their sneakers that were supposed to be delivered by DoorDash did not arrive maybe some of you guys over there in the US can illuminate me on whether or not this is something that happens quite often when you order from these online retailers or is this just local to this one particular incident let me know but let's talk about some new sneakers coming out and some new announcements I want to start off with this collab here that you may well have seen although if you did see it and have already forgotten about it I wouldn't blame you these are the Crocs and the JJJJJ Bound 
Crocs. These are the JJJ Jound. And I don't know if these are still in one of the early phases of production in that they're waiting to be painted or they're waiting to be designed. Or maybe in true Jound fashion, this is them. And all white croc with the logo. But this was an inevitability and as bland and basic as these jound crocs are, I'm sure you'll agree with me when I expect these to resell for two or three X. What do you guys think of these? I've seen a lot of creators out there complaining about not yet receiving their Utopia Travis Air Force Ones. And at this point, this whole release seems like it's one of the biggest sneaker letdowns of the year because the people that received them initially complained about how basic they were and how ripped off they felt given that these were trading at a premium price over and above the normal Air Force One. And so the people that got them in hand wanted to send them back and get their refunds. And then you've got these other people who haven't even received them yet and at this point just wish they'd never ordered them in the first place. Have you received your Utopias yet? Or did you receive them and like most people felt the need to get a refund and send them back? Let me know. So we've been seeing some more images and even some on foot looks with little Yachty wearing the Nike cactus plant flea market air flea 2 this sneaker has definitely got people talking it's definitely a different sneaker it's giving me Shimano cleats vibes cycling shoe aesthetic mixed with a little bit of Balenciaga that tire shoe whatever it was called the destroyer or something and I'm not gonna lie part of me likes these just because of how different they are how basic they are and how out the box they are I think CPFM are probably one of Nike's strongest collaborators at this point. No release details on this yet are to hand, but I imagine with the build up and the fact that these are being seeded out to celebrities at this point, early pairs are probably out there available on the market and rep factories have probably already begun production. I wouldn't be surprised to see these come out before the end of the year, but what are you guys thinking about these? Are you guys feeling these or do you think these are trash? Let me know. We've had a look at a couple of Kobe 4s. We've had some updated images, albeit just one pretty poor image of the Kobe 4 Pro Tro by coastal and these are definitely looking pretty nice nice sort of lights blue color blocking with some reptile mamba references yellow kobe signature on the back i'm not gonna lie though the kobe 4 is probably one of my least favorite kobe models i feel like 5 through 10 at 5 through 11 gold we also had a look at another kobe 4 this one called the black metallic gold almost like a black cats kobe 4 pro tro pretty nice pretty simple can't really go wrong with these devin booker's first nike signature shoe has come out amid mixed reviews some people are saying these look pretty cool some people are saying these look a little bit like a skate shoe they're quite simple he sent out a bunch of friends and family versions to his mates like drake who was seen wearing them at a concert in this orange colorway and i actually think they look kind of nice i mean they're super simple you can't really go wrong with a simple silhouette like this they almost give me like a mid blazer type vibe they look like they'd be really good to play in and i think these would make a good crossover into the streets I'm not overly fanatical about the book i know he's a bucket but what do you guys think so we got a peek at the upcoming air jordan holiday lineup and i just want to go through some of the releases one by one and tell you what i think first and foremost we've got the bread satins and these have come out in times past and i think will definitely be popular but they're not going to be reselling for very much money i don't think not that we really care about that you also have these reimagined royals it's the royal in a suede version rather than the original leather these are kind of nice but i'll personally be skipping on those also got these like purpley type ones i'll be passing on those fear threes i already have those craft olive fours i just wish they hadn't given these the craft treatment the craft treatment at this point is the best way to spoil a Jordan 4 in my opinion so I'll be passing on those even though I think it's a nice colorway these Georgetown or navy blue fives are nice but that's a pass the aqua sixes aqua color blocking does work on the six but I'll just take the aqua eights please there really are only one or two cops for me in the bunch and one of them are these these are being called the gratitudes or the DMP 11s definitely looking forward to those and we'll be trying to cop those you've also got the neapolitan 11s as well it's a women's release nice colorway but if you're going for the dmps or the gratitudes these are surplus to requirements the only other must cop for me are these the cherry 12s huge fan of this colorway going to be requiring those for sure and then the wheat 13s that is also another pretty classic colorway and attempting one but one that i would probably be inclined to wait for 
on sale. And so it's a half decent lineup, but really only one or two cops for me, the DMPs and the Cherry 12s. What about you guys? Are you guys copying anything this holiday season? Let me know. We had an interesting look at some of D Wade's latest footwear. These Way of Wade creations look kind of interesting. They almost look like some kind of conch shell. The designs are pretty interesting, pretty futuristic. You kind of almost feel like they take a little bit of inspiration from the foam or the foam runner type aesthetic. And they speak to this moment in sneaker time that we're in now where we have this like mold type footwear. People have been drawing comparisons between the big red boots and then the Yeezy D Rose basketball shoes that never were. And some people are saying they look like the Michelin man's feet. I don't know, I think they're pretty cool and I'm sure they've got a place in sneaker culture, but it's just not a place that I myself am looking to visit. What do you guys think about these? You guys might have seen Big Baller Brands are back. LeVar Ball decided to make a post showing off his latest set of footwear. This post and this footwear has been worth the pain to the eyes for all of the mockery and clever commentary that has come about as a result. Some people saying that these look like some kind of spare car part or looking like some kind of toaster. It definitely looks like all you've got to really do these days if you want to get a foothold in the sneaker culture is to make some kind of clog or crock, get it on the feet of someone famous and try to go viral. It also makes sense because this type of footwear has got to be incredibly cheap to manufacture and so the margins are going to be good. What do you guys think of these? Mischief could be teaming up with Reebok on a Reebok pump and the images that have surfaced look pretty crazy. We're looking at a Reebok pump that doesn't just have the pump action basketball on the tongue, it has it all over. And I know Reebok and the pump have been doing a lot of things in recent years to try to revive the interest in the pump and capitalize on the nostalgia and maybe re -wet the appetites. And at least from a marketing standpoint, Mischief is probably not a bad route to go down. But in looking at these images, I can't say that they are appetizing to me in the least. But as bad as they might be to look at, you can guarantee that once better images of these surface and celebrities are seen wearing these, they will most likely move. What do you guys think of these pumps? And that is it for this week's sneaker news recap. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a like before you bounce and comment down below your thoughts. I look forward to reading your comments. Make sure you guys have an awesome weekend. Be sure to go and follow me on IG and I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care for now and peace.